Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail saying hello. Welcome to day three of 12 Days of Pockets. But before I start, I'm going to show you some stuff. Uh, I want to show you, I'm going to make this, whoops, close, farther apart. Um, first of all, this is where I, what I've been doing. See these baskets? all of these wonderful baskets and they go over to my living room and I've got a bunch more and that is for a group that I'm in and we're having an event and I'm in charge of the raffle baskets and then the other thing is I'm working on a quilt, a baby quilt for my grand nephew and that's going to be a butterfly so I've got all my stuff for sewing out and I have um, I'm cutting the, the quilt squares and making them so I've been doing all kinds of different things and this is actually kind of cleaned up already that's going to be an orange butterfly and um, so it's it's been crazy plus i'll tell you about my my cat uh, once we get going too um i'm gonna see if i can get this on now without changing it and this is going is also the uh second time i'm making this video today because it expanded out or got too close and everything i did you could see like my hand this big and I was like oh no now I have to start over so we're gonna do day three but before I start I want to show you something um, these I got these at the dollar store they're laser cut craft icons and they're they're cardboard basically um, but they're too thick like I didn't want to use them in my journals because they're so thick so on Facebook one day somebody posted that if you throw them in water for a couple minutes they come apart into four and now you've got four and you can paint them or do whatever you want um, but this one becomes four so I paid a dollar and a quarter and I got six which then comes apart into 24 so it's a pretty good deal and I have stars hearts Leaves, keys, flowers, birds, more leaves, some clocks, some different kinds of stars, and I, I also got some words. Um, then I'm going to take them apart and use them in my journals. You can paint them or whatever you want. And that is um kind of cool i thought i'd share that with you because they're at the dollar store dollar tree right now the dollar tree store for a dollar and a quarter okay um now i'm going to start by showing you some of the pockets of what we're going to be doing and then i will uh, show you how to make them and um and I'll just kind of chat a little bit while we're doing it. Now, these are made from regular book pages. And this is just one book page folded up. This was a pretty sturdy book page. Or you can glue them together. Um, this one here is folded all the way up to the top. And this one is not folded up to the top. So it's taller. So these are... Um, just i sewed around them and everything this one has two little side pockets on it so you can decorate those and you can use them or you can make them big by using like whole pages instead of folding it you use a whole page whole and another whole page and you can make something like this to put in the middle of your signature and it's um a lot bigger so um then I have some that I made with pages from this book and uh, these are also folded up 
This one, I just folded down one side and stitched around, and this is just going to be a regular pocket. And this one is folded up. You've got the two pockets, and I would fold it like this. These make uh, are good for like putting in belly bands or things like that, and then you've got little tags in there. And this is another one like that. Um, you can leave it just like this and use it as a pocket and have your two your two parts. So, you know, you can fold it or not, you know, depending on if you want to. Um, and then I have some that are decorated. These are the book page ones, and I just put some things on, on it, and I put some paper um, to decorate, to cover up the upside-down writing, some of it. And just a butterfly. Here's one that I put this piece on top of the book page. And we have a washi flower and tags. And I covered up upside down writing by using this paper. And I can show you how to do that in a little bit. Okay. So there are some. And then this is the last one I'm going to show you. It's a variation of this. Um, these go on, on a page. So I'm just going to use this to show you. So this would go over the page like this. You would have um, glue, put glue on here and then across here. And you would then have a pocket on your page. And then I also would run a line of glue right here and here and here and then I've got on the next page uh, after it another pocket so it's an over the, the page thing and these are made from calendar pages so you can see I've got the calendar page and then I've just chosen the picture and this one like would be pretty for a Christmas I could put some Christmas something on there and then I would have that. So I'm going to show you how to do those as well. All right. Set those out of the way. And we'll get started. Now this uh, is a book page. And I just want to show you kind of how you make it. I cut down uh, some of the um, white parts off of the edges. I've decided where to fold it up, fold it in half. So now I've got a spot here and then I folded these down, but I haven't uh, finished it yet. Now you can decorate partially before you finish, before you sew it. Um, but you, you glue these flaps down And you just want to make sure that it's about the same so that you have the same on this side and this side. Now you could put paper on here. Um, like, let me just show that one. Um, you could, this one here, the paper was put on after. So there's, the sewing was already on there and then I, I put the paper on. You could do the whole paper on this part and I'm going to show you how to do that right now um, and then don't fold it until you're finished though and then you could decorate on each side now for something like this like I put that on there but you could glue this on and then have it um, just open up like this or you could glue it here and here and have a tuck spot Plus it opens up and you've got some small tags. So if you decide that you want to put something on this page right here before you start, uh, you can get out some digitals or, you know, whatever you like to, to do it with. And what I do is I just kind of measure like this is about five inches. That's as wide as I like to go with a pocket on my page. This one's going to be folded though in half, but you could have it straight. Um, so I'm going to rip some of this off. Oops. 
I should have put the, did this the opposite way around. It's harder to rip when you only have a little strip. I'll try that on this side. It's easier to hold this down. And you got a much better cut. You can see that. A much better rip. Okay. And if, you know, you can measure this even. You can just do like, okay, if it's going to be on here. And I want it to be about. That's why I moved it over just a little bit. So then I would put this on, and you can line this up. You could line this up on your on your thing to make sure that you're getting it straight. So now that is lined up. I'm going to rip this white part off the bottom. And it's going to be going about this high. And you can fold this over as well if you want to. So I'm going to rip it off kind of even with the top a little bit more. And then I can glue this on like this. Mm -hmm. And I would not um, close it until this was totally dry uh, because I'm going to sew around it I think I could use glue stick and you can do that paper you know for other things too um, I'm noticing that this paper is a little bit more um, fragile Sometimes I put washi tape on the bottom of it then. Now I'll be able to sew down that front. When I sew it, I usually do this first, and then I stop, and then I fold it, and I do this, and then I go around to here again. Um, I'm noticing, though, that this is kind of rough down here, so I probably would put some washi or something like that on it, and I would um, do this. will be like that and then of course if you want to um, you could you could be uh, decorating on this side I'll show you that on a different one this one's definitely needs some washi it's falling apart okay let's take this one and I'll show you how to put it on there okay i think i'm going to use this and take that 
take this piece off. So that I can get it evened up. Turn it around and I'll do it the other way. Um, so besides the the basket thing that I've been working on all week, um, I had physical therapy. My last time was Thursday, and now I've got to do this stuff at home. And um, let's see how tall is this. I think I'll take some of this part off. Um, so I've got different exercise bands so that I can get um, keep going to get stronger, make it harder on myself. But other than that, I didn't really need to be going anymore. So that is... Um, Kind of the plan is to just keep exercising. I'm also, I'm just kind of marking where this is. I'm going inside the sewing. Um, my cat, and if you watch other times, I know you know that one of my cats died. We had to have him put to sleep a couple of weeks ago. And... Um, My other cat got sick. She's the same age. And I thought, oh, I can't. I just can't lose another cat. I just can't. It's hard enough the way it was. I'm just going to double check. Yeah. So I took her into the vet. And she was coughing. And she just was that. All of a sudden got really sick. And they took x-rays of her lungs. And um, look at this. And he said she had bronchitis and verging on pneumonia. That it was, it might have been already there, or right, right close to being pneumonia. And so we put her on, uh, the, she got an antibiotic shot, and then she had, um, see, I'm kind of going inside the sewing here. I got to take just a little bit, maybe more off of here. I'll see if I can rip it. Um, just, it's slipping. Uh, didn't work. I'll just have to cut it. And that's okay, too. You don't have to rip it. Now, what I'm going to do is just kind of fold this down. Even with this edge. And actually, because I already have sewing in here, I think I'm going to do this in two parts. I want to double check where this goes. rip this off. I hope this is right. <laughs> it's different than what I did before. Um, okay, I was talking about my cat. 
So we, she got a shot of antibiotics and steroids and, um, and then we brought her home and she, first she got worse instead of better. And then she, um, she seemed like she was starting to, to get a little bit better, but I took her back in and, and the vet said that she, um, that she was somewhat better, but she wasn't good yet, that it was pretty bad. You know, she still had it. So, um, he gave us an, an antibiotic that we have to give her every day, which is stronger than the one that she was on. And we also have an appetite stimulant to give her. Uh, it goes inside, it just gets rubbed like in her ear because she had lost three quarters of a pound in one week. And for a cat, that's a lot of weight. And she wasn't eating much in, in that. So um, so now it's been, let's see, we had her in again on Wednesday. So she's now four days into her new antibiotics. And she's doing better. She's still coughing. But she's doing better. Um, and I, I have hope now. I, I really thought she was going to die the, when she first, um, when we first took her in. She was just so sick. So I'm feeling a little bit better now. As she tries to meow and she, like, opens her mouth, you see. You see her, um, her meow trying to come out and can't. <laughs> Let me cut this off a little bit here. Okay, that's better. So it's just been, it's just been really hard for her. And for us to have her going through that. It's like when you have a baby that's sick and they can't tell you what's wrong because they're too little. Okay. Now that is going to get glued on there. Now what I'm doing is I'm covering up some of the upside down writing. You don't have to do that. It doesn't really matter that much. But you can. So I'm just showing you how to do it. I kind of like the way it looks when there's some different paper on it. Now I am not going to really do much with folding this or anything until it has dried. Because it, it will sometimes get funny. So I'm going to put something on the front of here. I think I'm going to take this, this piece that I had here that I ripped off and put some of that on. Cover up some of that white space. Oops, I should have. Let's stop a second and do this. I'm trying to do this more because it's um if arthritis in this thumb, this knuckle right here, and it really hurts after a while. So I'm trying to change some of my the way I do things.
Um. I just got me recently some new um, tags that I could put on. That one's kind of big. Just cutting these out the other night. So, this has been, I'm, I'm actually starting to feel a little caught up, and I'll be really glad when that event is over. I have to take the baskets over on Monday night and get them all set up, and uh, I'll be glad, I'll be glad, glad, glad to get them out of my house. So I can finish up that quilt and I can work on what I want to work on. Um, I haven't even taken these out of here and put them in my uh, box for them yet. have a little something on there. Now depending on how you want to use these, you can um, you can put some paper on the back that you can write on the whole thing. Or you could um, plan that you're going to glue that in it around it's upside down stick that one over here and there and that's basically what what you do and you can decorate these any any way you want but I would um, then I think I might put something on here to write on. Maybe even some of the script paper that I was using before. And just put that on to write on or something like this. Kind of like that. I can write on that. So I'll probably probably do a little bit more of that. But I gotta I wanna go on and show you some of the other things. Now the the ones that I did with the um, push all that out of the way. The ones that I did with the the uh, calendar pages. This, I would decide, well, first of all, I'm going to get my cutter, and I'm going to cut off this seam on the bottom, which is really nice, but it it doesn't work with what, what I'm doing. And then I have to cut off the top a little bit because of the hole. And then I decide, okay, I want the whole bird to be on on one side so this one's going to get folded this way and they don't have to be the same size because they're going over a page 
but this is the one that's going to be the full whatever I decide. Let's see uh, how big I want the pocket. Maybe about four inches. And then I, I'm going to turn it in a little bit. So I'm going to move it over a little bit more. This is a really, I've got some beautiful calendar pages. And this works really nice for that. Okay, so now I'm going to make a little notch in the top. And of course, you can add extra decorations on um, any way, any way you want. This one's going to get folded down. And you can decide how much you want it folded down. You can do it a little or a lot. I'm just going to do it. And then this pocket, you will go in from here. So that's pretty simple. Goes over a book page or over your your journal page. This one will have this on on the first part of it, and you got you would glue it um, along the middle so it goes on the edge of the page, plus the bottom and the top. And of course, I glue this down as well. May as well do that. Mm -hmm. So that would be one pocket, and you'd have some pretty decoration on here. And then the next page, you'd have the bird, uh, and you'd have a place to put the tag. I didn't measure how long this was. It's a little over six inches, so. Um, I could cut a little bit more off. I could cut that green part off, maybe. I'm just going to do it real quick over here. And then it's um, just about six inches. So if I have a tag that's about six inches, the, the top would, the, whatever I have to pull it out, a tab or, or whatever, would come right on the top of that. And I would glue that here and then across here. So you'd have this and this, and then that would be glued down plus that middle part. So that then I've got that on here. I've got two pockets, one over the page, just by folding the paper just a little bit. Let me see what my time is like. Okay. Should have had this up a little bit further. Okay, I'm about at, I'm a little over a half hour. So I'm going to stop. And you can um, try some of these. And we'll come back in the next video. And obviously my days are not consecutive. <laughs> but we'll have day four for uh, pockets so you'll have a different kind next time and thanks for joining me today and uh, I hope that if you're not subscribed that you will consider it and tell all your friends so until next time this is Carol from Friendly Quail saying bye